Hey, what's up guys? Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com with another exclusive tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be talking about rooting the Motorola Atrix 4G. Um, this is a brand new device and we've already got some awesome development from CL Shortfuse and he's written an application called Super One Click that will allow us to root this device. And even though it's just dropped, we can already have it rooted. So uh, start by turning the phone on and unlocking it. And we're going to click the Settings option, Settings again applications, development, and ensure that USB debugging is checked. Once you've done that, this tutorial is going to assume that you've already got the drivers for the phone as well as ADB uh, installed. To, um, to do that, I will link you to a thread uh, that talks more about that. And um, it's actually very easy. So we're not going to talk about installing the drivers right now. We're just going to talk about post driver installs and how to uh, to set this up. So once your drivers are installed and your phone's in debugging mode, go ahead and plug into it with your USB cable. Oops, sorry about that, and that backwards. And we'll set the phone aside. Now, if this is the first time you've plugged in your phone, you're going to see some uh, some drivers uh, populating. This is on Windows 7, um, but uh, any Windows operating system, you're going to see drivers that are populating in the bottom right system tray. Allow those to finish. Once they do, we're ready to root the phone. Now obviously when you open up the application, remember download is in the description below, you'll see root, shell root, unroot, allow non-market apps, and a donate button. Obviously self-explanatory and root and unroot. Shell root is just going to provide a shell access with like ADB command style command prompt uh, root from that. And then um, non-market apps is going to uh, you know, to allow us to install things that aren't in the market. And a very important option, donate. If you appreciate this, donate. I definitely sent a $5 donation over, and, um, you know, I, I really suggest you guys do that as well um, because this, this is really an awesome piece of development to get so soon for, uh, for a brand new phone. So we're going to click root. But before we do that, let's go ahead and test the functionality of a root-specific application and uh, verify that we definitely don't have root right now. So... If we go up, let's do titanium backup, and we got root access failed. You can see that right there. The screen is incredibly glossy, by the way. Uh, so root access failed on titanium backup. So we're going to go ahead and root the device. So we'll click root. It's going to start ADB server, and it's going to mount the file system for read-write access and install a few apps like BusyBox and uh, SuperUser. And uh, those are applications that are common with Android rooting. So we're going to allow this to run. It's going to read OS version properties for a few moments. And at the end, it's going to prompt you and let you know that you've rooted. And you can test if you would like to see if uh, the root was successful. So we'll allow that to finish as it only takes a few moments. By the way, if you're curious about Titanium Backup, check out the Titanium Backup video right here. You can learn more about that. Okay, so root files have been installed. Would you like to run a test? Um, you can say yes or no. Uh, we're just going to say no for now um, as we're going to reboot and do our own test anyway. Uh, now before we reboot, we want to go ahead to say allow non-market apps. So say that. This is going to allow us to use non-market apps uh, that aren't in the market. So non-market applications are enabled. So we're going to say okay. And at this time, turn the phone on going to unplug and we're going to power the phone off. That will take a second. And then as soon as we power it off, we're going to power the phone right back on. So give it a few moments to fully power off. And now we're going to power it back on. Okay, so give us a few moments. We're going to power the phone up and we'll get back with you in just a flash to uh, review our changes. Okay, our device is back up. Let's go ahead and open Titanium Backup once more. It will ask for root permissions, and this time we'll see if we have access. So, Titanium Backup, asking for root rights. We'll get the prompt, say allow for super user, and bam, root access granted. We can see the dialog right there up top above my finger, and we've got root access. That is how to root your Motorola Atrix uh, 4G. Brought to you by MobileTechVideos.com. Once again, please consider donating to the developer of this application, which is Super One Click. That donation link can be found below. If you found our video to be helpful and informative as well, we do appreciate donations. 
Uh, check us out at mobiletechvideos.com. Our donation link is also below. And keep an eye out. Um, we're going to be making a lot of how-to videos for the Atrix as time goes by, and we're very excited about this new device. So if you're in the uh, looking for how to do custom modding on these phones and maybe other variants such as the Galaxy S or HD2, check us out, mobiletechvideos.com. Subscribe if you like the content, and uh, be on the lookout. Videos are coming. So if you're ready to try to root the phone, good luck.